hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be playing around with the new galaxy collection by fenty beauty and i'm just happy like i don't know it's just been a good day i hope y'all are having a good day i'm in a good mood and i'm gonna be reviewing this new palette so it's just a good day <laughs> so jumping right into it i'm going to be showing you guys like the palette swatches just talking just a little bit about like you know how it feels and all of that and then i'm probably probably and then i'm going to be jumping into an actual look i have no idea what look i'm going to do obviously you guys see the thumbnail i don't know what i'm gonna do so i hope y'all like it um so if you guys want to jump into just me doing an eye look then i'm going to leave the time below where you can just click and skip if you guys aren't interested in the swatches and all of that then keep on watching okay so first things first in the collection and obviously the main thing is the eyeshadow palette so this is the boxing for the fenty galaxy eyeshadow palette and it's so pretty this is like 3d this is like felt glitter so you can actually feel it the box is obviously like reflective this is what the back looks like so it has the layout of what the palette is going to look like and yeah that's just the box and this is the eyeshadow palette it's like a chrome casing it's just beautiful the only thing though is that when you touch it it does leave your finger mark residue on it as you can see but my OCD I'm always like trying to wipe it clean <laughs> This is what the inside looks like. I'm covering the mirror just so that y'all don't like see the reflection and it doesn't like hurt your eye or whatever. But this is what the palette looks like. These are the colors. It comes with 14 shades and I will be swatching all of them for you guys to see what they look like. So, so far these colors are so pretty. Oh my God, I have not touched, like I bought this palette the day it came out that morning and surprisingly it was not packed in sephora at all like i was thinking the line was going to be out the door around the corner people were gonna be fighting all of that but it was not packed at all um maybe it was a sephora that i went to in that location it's like the audience and that i don't know maybe i just looked out but I expected there to be more people, but that's what happens with a lot of celebrity launches. Like the, the first the first celebrity launch for someone, everyone goes crazy, but by like the next couple launches, people die down. Same thing happened with Rihanna when she um, launched her slides. Like the first slides, you couldn't find it anywhere in like the first hour after it launched. Everywhere it was sold out by like her bow slides and then definitely by her jelly slides. Like I guess the hype went down, I don't know, but. I don't know but this palette is beautiful okay so I'm just gonna get right into these swatches and stop talking so I'm gonna just swatch my arm like this and yes I am wearing clothes I'm like I'm doing like this off the shoulder jean jacket thing but it don't look like I got clothes on but I got clothes on <laughs> so the first shade that I'm swatching is ozone and I'm not like a professional swatcher so please excuse me don't come at me okay don't come at my life so it's like a silvery shimmer shade the next one is extraterrestrial Ooh, it's like this green shade oh this was ozone right this is extraterrestrial Woo, okay, extraterrestrial. The next shade that I'm swatching is Mars on Fire. And this is what it looks like on the finger. Okay, this shade is Cosmic Ocean and this is beautiful. I hope 14 swatches can fit on my arm. I don't know. The next one is Ultraviolet. Again, I am not a professional swatcher. 
I'm not there yet. This one is called Lightyear. It's like a dark gray green color. This color is called Midnight Bolt. Ooh, that is pretty. The next one is Meteor Crush, which is like a pink kind of color, a rose gold kind of pink color. I don't know if y'all can see that. This is Sublime. This color is Planet X. This color is Space Out, out O-W-T. Okay, Rihanna. This color is Jupiter Sand. I need to be going higher with these. This color is called Milky Way, which is so pretty. And this last one, which is also beautiful, is called Sunburst. So these are the colors. She only has shimmer shades. She does not have a matte shade. They're all glittery and they're so pretty. So those are all the swatches and they're just really pigmented, just really pretty. And I noticed that they're super soft, like creamy in a sense, which is really good. It's not like chalky or hard or anything. They glide on my finger and they glide off on my arm. I don't know what look I would do. Now the last things that I bought from this collection are two of her cosmic glosses and she calls them lip glitters. So this is what the boxing looks like. And I got the shades um, Spacesuit and Astronauti. So this is Spacesuit and this is Astronauti. And obviously she had other shades and then she had her lipsticks. But personally, when I was swatching them in Sephora, I liked the glosses better. So now that everything is swatched, I'm going to create my eye look now. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so uh, again, hopefully y'all like it. Like if you're watching it, you clicked it, you probably did like it. So yeah. So I'm going to go set my eyes and then get ready to create this look. So because the Galaxy palette does not have any matte colors, I will be using another palette to add to the look. The palette that I'm gonna be using is going to be the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. The first color I'm gonna take is this purple color called Zobo and I'm going to put that on the outer part of my eye. And the next color I'm gonna take is Makita and I'm going to put that right on top of the same color just to deepen the crease. So now that my eye is blended how I want it to, I'm going to go ahead and start using the Galaxy Collection. But before that, I am going to use glitter glue. And when I say that you need glitter glue for this palette, it, like it's no joke that if you do not have a type of glitter glue, you cannot use this palette. Like I was struggling to place these shimmers on my eye and at one point I was just like, why is it not staying on? Like it's literally, you're just wiping dust left and right on your eyelid. So the glitter glue that I'll be using is my glitter glue from Too Faced. And I really like this glitter glue. It doesn't really cake up on your eye. Um, if you have another glitter glue preference, obviously you can use that. But this is what I'll be using in order to keep the shimmer on my eye. The 
the color that I'm going to use or the shimmer that I'm going to use is Space Out and it's this shimmer right here and I'm just pressing my finger into it and then I'm going to just pat it all over my eye. Obviously, if you need more glitter glue, you can build on top of that. But you want to be careful and not put too much at once or it will get cakey. I'm also taking ultraviolet and I'm going to place that right on top. And then I'm going to take Milky Way and I'm going to place that right in the center. Do y'all see this? Like, wait, wait, wait. Do y'all see? I got the galaxy on my eyes. What? Somebody call NASA. So now that the eyes are done for now, I'm going to prime my face with the Fenty Pore Filter Primer. Now for contour, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Matchstick Trio in the shade Deep 40. So my concealer shade is Suede and my contour shade is Espresso. And my highlight shade that they give is called Cinnamon with an S, Cinnamon. The contour comes with its own um, contour brush. I've never used a con this contour brush i have i do have a contour brush i have like this brush that is good for foundation and contouring like cream contour on the cheeks and stuff like that this would be a good brush to use this brush however is more fluffy it's obviously a retractable brush and it's more dense and uh, this is my first time that i'm gonna be using this brush with this concealer highlight contour trio thing going on so we shall see now you see I'm not too sure about this little brush thing from my cream highlight but that's okay because you want to know why because Rihanna was also like sis you don't want to use the brush it's cool I'm gonna hit you with my beauty blender bow okay so definitely still going to use this for the um, contour, but definitely for my cream highlight, I don't want to move it around and disturb the foundation that's going on under it. So with that being said, I'm going to use her beauty blender. I keep calling it a cream highlight, but y'all get what I'm saying, the concealer. But this concealer is like right in between the fine line of being like subtle enough and being popping. Like, I don't know. It's like you can use it for an extravagant extra eye look and then you can use it for like just a simple everyday I kind of want to slay on y'all, but I don't want to do too much to y'all just yet kind of look like, you know, and I like how the beauty blender has this flat top so it could get like right under the eye. That forehead is beautiful. Wait a minute. Wow. I 
you had a twin, I would still choose you. I, I don't want to rush into it if it's too soon, but I know you mean. Even though this is a wig, the same rules apply. You want to push your contour on your forehead into your scalp so that it blends. I'm not going to bake, but I am going to lightly put a little bit of setting powder where my concealer is. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using Rihanna's Invisimat Blotting Powder. I had showed all my Fenty products on my Snapchat when I first got them, like however long ago. Like when the first batch of Fenty came out. And when I was showing the Invisimat, I was screaming, literally screaming at my Snapchat, saying how smart this blotting powder is. Only because you put it on your face it doesn't have a tint or anything, right? You put it on your face and it's like, it just keeps you set for life. Now for highlight, I do have a few options. <laughs> um, so I have Trophy Wife, I have Moon Metal, I have Girl Next Door slash Chick Freak, and I have Moon Money slash Hustler Baby. And I'm looking at this stack that I got, and I think that for this look, when you're doing like a silver shimmer, you don't want to contrast it with anything like gold or rose gold. So the only highlight I see here that would fit this look is Moon Metal. And it's like a silvery nighttime kind of like like this. When I say I have everything from her collection, both first and second, it's no joke. I just never did her first a first collection like review video. I don't know why. So I'm like low-key trying to show y'all what I got without really trying to like <laughs> do like a oh Fenty Beauty first collection. No, no, this is the Galaxy collection. But best believe I do have everything from the first. And while we're on the topic, I didn't buy any of my Fenty Beauty at all. <laughs> um, so all of my Fenty Beauty were gifts. And I am very grateful and very blessed and very happy that this person bought all of my Fenty Beauty for me. When I say all of it, I mean all of it. All of it. All. Like, and back to the tutorial. So for highlight, I'm going to be using her Kilowatt highlighter in the shade Moon Metal or shade or color, I don't know. And to apply it, I'm going to be using her Cheek Hugging um, highlight brush. When I say that this brush is so soft, y'all, like, I don't know what type of fur, faux fur this is. This brush is so soft. I might have went a little overboard with the highlight, but then again, it's Fenty, and I'm supposed to be a fucking galaxy, so. Okay, so last but not least, for my lips, I'm going to use her Cosmic Gloss Lip Glitter in the shade Astro Naughty. This is the final look, you guys. I'm about to spray my face and put down my hair and I'll be back to give my final thoughts on basically the whole collection. So, the Galaxy palette. Um, This palette, again, the colors are beautiful. Like, the shimmers are gorgeous. Um, the formula for them is, like, really smooth and really soft. It's just the fact that they don't come with mattes and for every single shimmer, you have to use a glitter glue. And like, like try to understand that. So this palette, you have to incorporate another palette, which isn't anything like first world problems, incorporating another palette, like it's not a big deal. But you know, like you kinda want your palette, especially one kinda like a high-end palette to have everything that you need in it. And also when you're using a glitter glue, 
for an eyeshadow, especially a shimmer, that means that you can't really move it, blend it out to the way that you would want it to. So it kind of limits the type of eye looks that you can do only because once the glitter glue is on your eye, that means that the shimmer is just going in that one spot and that's it. Like you can't like blend it out, you can't really like do anything to it. So that's that with that palette. But other than that, again, it's a beautiful palette and the formula is really nice. Her Cosmic Glosses, I love them. I love them, love them, love them. Um, if you guys have like been following me or you know me personally or whatever, you know that I am a matte lip fanatic. I will advocate matte lip <laughs> lipstick forever. But I really do love these glosses and they smell so good. Like they smell sweet, like they mm. <laughs> like a bakery like I don't even know how to describe it like it just smells really good um, obviously with this one I'm using it for this look but with this gloss I've actually gone outside without makeup on and have just worn this gloss and it has lasted all day so the formula for these glosses are really nice and they're just like a beautiful color as far as the galaxy collection that's all I got <laughs> Um, in terms of the products that I use from her first collection, I love, love, love the concealer, contour sticks, the matchstick trios. I love those. Um, and that brush to blend out the contour. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I wouldn't blend out my concealer with it though. Even though it says that you can, I wouldn't do it. But for the contour, I definitely would use that brush again for clean contour. Even though, again, it's from her first launch. I got it all over my face, though. Moon Metal. Moon Metal did the job, okay, honey? Moon Metal did what it had to do. We redid that because look at my face. Look at my face. <laughs> I really like this look. And if y'all are wondering... I made this wig and I have a video on my channel on how I made it and where the hair comes from so I'm not gonna say thank you guys so much for watching my video I hope you enjoyed and if you did please make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video